What's up guys, thanks for tuning in to Dot Slash. So today I'm gonna to talk about Manjaro 18.0 RC1. It is their release candidate for 18.0 and if you head over to manjaro.org, uh, I'll put a link in the description, but basically head there, go to downloads, development releases, and then you'll be presented with three versions, the XFC version, KDE edition, and the GNOME edition, which is beta four. It's a little more behind. But stating that, there are some updates that are still being pushed out right now that actually on my host machine here, you can see I'm using GNOME 3.30 now as of yesterday. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, getting into the virtual machine here, first thing that I want to point out right off the bat is this is the live ISO. Um, Calamari's is a new version. Very nice, works very well. Uh, usability side of things, you're probably not going to really notice anything, but it is a newer version. And they're also using kernel 4.19. So let me just get a zoom in here of this. So here you go. Kernel 4.19. So this is the next LTS version that is coming out for the kernel, which is awesome. And one cool thing is that the virtual box guest editions are built into the kernel so you saw how it resized automatically here if you look at the 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 panel on the bottom so you resize it i can go full screen and it'll resize so no more having to mess around with installing the guest editions it does it automatically which is fantastic so let me just switch now i'm going to get rid of the virtual disk and reboot and reset uh, before it resets two things first of all the new grub version when manjaro is the only distro that's installed grub isn't supposed to show up at all and that happened the first time and then i ran a bunch of updates and now it's showing up but the intent is that it doesn't show up if it's the only distro not a big deal either way but just so you know also during the boot up procedure here you'll get after grub this black screen that on a actual PC on hardware will show the manufacturer's logo, which is really awesome. But because we're using VirtualBox, it's just going to show a black screen. Hopefully in the near future, they update that. So maybe it'll show a VirtualBox logo. I don't know if they can do that, but that's a possibility. I think that would be pretty cool in the future. So coming up to the desktop here. And here we go. So again, I'm going to, I can resize it and it's going to switch on me. Not instant, but you know what, it works. So the first thing you're gonna notice is, well, the welcome screen, but I'll get, that, I'll get to that in a second. The theming, it's a very nice theme. I want to do this, because I do this before anything. Memory usage, memory usage. 600 megs used. I don't know if you can make that out with the transparencies. 603, not bad. It's actually a little higher than I think KDE would be, but this is XFCE. It's still lower than what GNOME would be. So, hey, it is what it is, right? So 600 megs, um, get rid of that. And the welcome screen. You'll notice one thing on the welcome screen is a applications button here. So this applications button brings up this snazzy little window that lets you add and remove things, kind of like a package manager, but this is um, suggestions, I guess you could say. So for text editor, it's as simple as checking the box, update system is going to tell you which packages are going to be installed. So if there's dependencies, they're gonna be listed here as well. Hit commit, enter in your password, and it's gonna do its thing. You can watch the details. Oh, that was actually really, really quick. And you get a little notification in the corner saying that it's done. So let me just do, let me see, Chromium. Let's do this. So update, commit, password. And now we can actually watch, you can open up the details so you can actually see 
what's going on. You'll see all the installation and everything, but <laughs> boom, again, it was done really, really fast. So, but you get the idea. So this is like, um, this is like a getting started package manager, which is really handy, really nice to use. It doesn't have absolutely everything, but that's not what it's intended for. I think the intention is it is to get you up and running and give you like a nice suggestion of things to start off with email clients, web browsers, etc. So now the next thing I want to show you is something that I talked about before Pac-Man in Manjaro. I've mentioned this before, how um, you do sudo Pac-Man S, S to search for something that to install this to update. Uh, this does other things, right? So user friendliness has never been a strong suit. Well, Pamac is the GUI. I had removed software. Here we go. The GUI for managing your packages, your package manager. It's okay. It's, it's nice. Some people like to do stuff from the terminal. I'm one of those people who like to do stuff from the terminal, but something has been added in this version, which is very interesting. One of the devs who work on Manjaro, Phil actually told me about this. And you see there are these new options here that weren't here before. So now you can do some stuff in the terminal with Pamac, not Pac-Man, Pamac, which is the GUI version. So if we go Pamac, uh, check updates. Let's do this again, check updates. This is going to check to see if you have any updates without updating the database. If you just do update, it's going to take advantage of the policy kit and it'll ask you for your password because you notice I didn't put sudo. I just did Pamac. So now I enter my password. It's going to synchronize the databases, check for updates, nothing to do. Perfect. Now I can do Pamac install. Uh, let's say audacity here we go do you want to install yes i do looks very familiar right looks a lot like any other terminal command line interface based package manager this is what's going to install this is how big they are uh, total download size total installed size after the downloads are uncompressed continue yes password again enter it downloading there we go Really awesome that Pamac has added this command line interface that is a little bit friendlier to use than Pac-Man. So if you want to dive into the terminal and you are used to something like apt on Debian or on Ubuntu, where you're using words, you know, like Pamac um, search and let's say edit, I don't know, some word. So let's say get it. Okay, I know I know that get it is a GNOME text editor. So you can just type search. You could do Pamac. Uh, what are the other options here? Pamac info. So let's do info, get it. There you go. The name, the description, the license, the repository, the size, the dependencies, the packager, like it tells you everything here. Really, really awesome. You can also, by the way, I think it is, if you do, is it search? You do search help. Yes, the hyphen A or the hyphen hyphen AUR will also let you search the AUR. So that's pretty cool. Uh, also updating. If you have packages that are installed from the AUR, if you do the update hyphen A, upgrade hyphen A, it will include anything you've installed in the AUR, which is the Arch user repository, which I've discussed several times in my videos. So pretty awesome, pretty awesome little uh, Pac-Mac. <laughs> I'm gonna type Pac-Man so many times trying to use this, but you know what, this is, um, this is really cool. Uh, what can I uninstall? remove what did I put in um, evolution there we go remove password done so <laughs> awesome I'm I'm really really liking 
this. It's something new. I am used to Pac-Man. If you're not used to Pac-Man, if you're used to apt, then maybe you want to use this instead of Pac-Man is totally up to you. But this is what's new in 18.0 for Manjaro. And also if you're using the KDE version, of course, you're going to have the newer upcoming KDE 5.14, all kinds of goodies, nice new theming. I'm, I'm really liking the dark theming. The, the updates that are rolling out right now are pretty cool. Speaking of updates for GNOME on my home system, now I have the new Nautilus with the double search bar and everything. So new things that I'm just playing with that have literally just come out yesterday. So, so that's Manjaro 18.0. Let me know if you use it down in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the new PAMAC switches. Are you gonna use it? Do you use terminal commands? Would you prefer using that over Pac-Man? Kind of curious. I'm, I'm really excited to see that there's something a little friendlier being used on the Arch side of things. The Manjaro side, obviously, but in the Arch world, I mean. So yeah, have a look and let me know. I encourage you to try it out, maybe in a virtual machine, if anything. Why not? It's definitely worth a look. So I would like to quickly thank my Patreon patrons, my executive producers, Nuno and Friedenator. Thank you guys so much for contributing to my channel. And also thanks to Carlos, Carl, George, Kit, Says, and Ronald. You guys make this channel possible. If you'd like to help me contribute to the Lynch community by contributing to my channel, head on over to patreon.com slash dorian.slash. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Until next time, bash on.